this truck's been sitting for quite a while the customer brought it in wants to get it going and we have a whole bunch of codes here some active some inactive but they're all related to the air management system the EGR system under boost TC1 TOP which is exhaust back pressure DPF uh, so this is my go-to test and probably one of the most important tests you could do to help figure out and make sure your actuators are working properly to make sure your uh, all your sensors are reading and also to, to determine basically the uh, almost a physical condition of the engine um, so there, there are multiple tests but this is probably the most important in finding a problem fast uh, as well as giving you a general idea of a direction where to go so this is on a international N13 engine um, I'm just going up here to tests key on engine running tests and air management tests and I'll bring you to this screen here now, as you can see you're left with four parameters right there we got our engine throttle position, EGR position, we got our exhaust back pressure control, and TC2 wastegate control. Now these are going to be your main things to look for, as well as your intake manifold pressure. Intake manifold pressure up there. TC1 TOP, this is just, just your back pressure. Now I'm going to run the test and you'll see how it goes. Um, and the main things we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at our actuator positions and verifying it with our intake manifold pressures as well as our TC1 TOP, which is our exhaust back pressure. And you'll see how they act. So basically, whenever any of our actuators are open, we'll want to see a drop in intake manifold pressure. And when our, our exhaust back pressure valve is commanded open, we want to see an increase in back pressure with that TC1 TOP. So, let's go ahead and start this test. Engine is going to ramp up to build intake manifold pressure. Intake manifold pressure is building. We've got 2.6. You see, we're commanding our engine throttle valve open. All right. So we've got 3.19 our intake manifold pressure and we're going to watch it activate these other valves here so EGR position is open 90% we see a drop in intake manifold pressure that's good so we know our EGR valve is working it's going to run through another test and this won't give a pass and fail result you have to physically look and uh, determine this yourself it's not going to Hold your hand on it. All right, wastegate control 90%. We don't see a drop in intake manifold pressure, so we know there's a problem there. We should see a drop just like a drop for our exhaust uh, gas circulation position when it raised. It's gonna raise again. We got our intake manifold pressure, and now we're gonna watch our exhaust back pressure control. raised 32 percent there's no increase in our tc1 top which is our exhaust back pressure so we know there's a problem there so by determining this doing this uh, one test we figured out okay there's a problem with our turbo control wastegate as well as a problem with our uh, exhaust back pressure but our egr valve is working good and our coolers aren't plugged because if you see the EGR position go up no drop in intake manifold pressure well that means either your valves bad or your coolers are plugged um, now we don't have any uh, EGR um, valve codes we have EGR system code 
but no valve code. Um, and a way to determine to see if your valve is physically moving is either remove it and run an EGR valve test or just run an EGR valve test to watch the control versus the position. Um, and then also, of course, this test, which determines whether your valve is physically opening um, and if, if it's uh, in good working condition by not having your coolers plugged. So, anyways, after that, um, now we basically just test our exhaust back pressure um, valve system and our turbo wastegate system to find out why those are not uh, not moving so I'm gonna I'm gonna run an exhaust back pressure valve test um, this is done with the engine off key on and we can see this is probably this is probably the easiest test to run um, to physically see what problem is wrong with this with that why it's not dropping and take manifold pressure so we'll do that one the uh, the wastegate control one's a little more involved in a sense of if you're not dropping intake manifold pressure like we weren't, um, now we got to determine why the wastegate's not moving. So pop the line off, put air to the wastegate because this is air actuated. See if it moves. If it moves, well, now we're into air control valve issues or seeing if there's any leaks in the line control in that wastegate. Um, but if it doesn't move, well, then we have a seized wastegate or the turbo vanes are seized so just remove the wastegate rod from the turbo and see if you could if you could get that wastegate to move with air pressure if you can well then you got a bad turbo but if not well then you got a seized wastegate replace the wastegate um so anyways let's go to our tests yeah, an engine off test now actuator test so we'll just check the uh, exhaust back pressure valve here now I'm gonna do this quick I'm gonna set it to 15 seconds so we'll wait 15 seconds before it runs the test duty cycle 95% so it should open that exhaust valve 100% so let me uh, get ready to run out here set the laptop down Okay, got my light all set and my camera here so we could hopefully get a good view of the back pressure valve I set it to 15 seconds and I like to count to myself after I hit this just to know when to expect that valve to come on so I'll just uh, do that here so okay I'm gonna hit start 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000, 11 1000, 12 1000. You can see the valve right there. Okay, you can hear the control valve sending air to the valve. The valve is physically not moving and then it exhausts. So we know the control is good. The control sent the air to the valve. Um, you can hear a little air exhausting, that's normal. But nothing, if there was a big leak, well, not, you know, you have a leak in the line going to the valve. But since uh, that was operating normal, no big leak, that should have opened up that valve no problem, and it didn't. So we know 100% we have a failed exhaust back pressure valve that's seized. Now, seeing as this thing is seized, and this truck was sitting for a while, well, I'm pretty much going to say the turbo um, wastegate is seized. But uh, like I said, that's a little more involved. Got to um, remove the line and, and send air to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This one simple test, air management test, you can determine a good portion of the health of your engine. Um, and an another test would be your onboard filter cleanliness test, which is basically a regen, watching your temps and stuff. Uh, I might do a video on that. Um, and also another test called the lug down test uh, or zero to 60 and that's a pretty cool test too but I might do another video on that one but yeah this one is probably probably the easiest uh, to point you in a direction on where to go as well as a, uh, a 
really helpful and handy test to determine the physical condition and operation of the engine.